Despite just a 4-7 and seven record in 2018, Greater Latrobe made a return to the WPIAL playoffs as they ultimately fell to Penn Hills in the first round. Now the Wildcats will look to get back to the postseason in 2019. The playoff appearance was the first in nearly a decade as the Wildcats took advantage of the expanded field in Class 5A. Despite a fifth-place finish, they battled hard against Penn Trafford and Franklin Regional. To improve this year, returning quarterback Brandon Crosby says the team needs more steady play. It's just all consistency, offense and defense. Um, whenever we're on offense, we have to execute. No bad snaps, no bad throws, all smart decisions. Crosby was just shy of 1,000 yards passing last year, but with top receiver Zach Williams moving on, other receivers must establish themselves. The ground game looks strong as both Logan Gustafson and A.J. Rock return for their senior years. Although the offensive line graduated four starters, including Division I-bound Trent Haller, the youthful group has shown plenty of promise. They're just a bunch of scrappy kids getting out there ready to play. They're hitting hard, they're mean, and they're aggressive, and that's what I like to see out of them because they're ready and they're not scared of anyone. Under the watchful eye of head coach Jason Maruco, Greater Latrobe's defense improved down a stretch of the regular season, but had no answers in a 55-7 loss in the postseason. That setback to Penn Hill served both as a teaching moment as well as motivation heading into this year. We, what we took from that is that, you know, I was glad that we made it to the postseason. That was great from our team, but we have to play more of a technical standpoint. We broke down technically a couple of times where we could have shut them down to stop their athleticism where we lack. They have a bit more athletic kids and just naturally more uh, fast and talented kids. But if we play more technically, we can definitely stop that. Um, it motivated a lot of the younger guys who weren't in because they saw what we were trying to do and they had the urge to get out there. So I think this year it's going to be really big for us. With Albert Gallatin gone from the district, the Cats have just six conference games this year. But with Gateway, Penn Trafford, McKeesport, Penn Hills, and Derry, all teams that have reached the WPIAL championship in the past three years, the Wildcats will have plenty of chances to earn a marquee win and keep building the program. It's been building since then, and all the teams now, we've been working towards that. We have to get a tradition started here because there's not much of a tradition in other areas, but we're starting to build that up now with more pep rallies and more hype on the Friday nights because that's what Western PA is all about. It's football. While the Wildcats look to build a winning tradition, their home field has plenty of that at Memorial Stadium in downtown Latrobe. Playing on the same field as the Steelers is an opportunity the team embraces. Well, I love the grass and I love the steel mill in the back with right in the center of town. It just reminds me of just the uh, just just all the throwback and the um, the way Western PA really is with all the industry and right in the middle of town and everyone coming down, walking from their houses on those Friday nights, being under those lights. It's just the uh, embodiment of our area. Greater Latrobe opens the season against the rival Derry Area Trojans in a game that we'll have broadcast on the Westmoreland Sports Network. And then the Wildcats will face Penn Hills, the defending WPL and state champions in week number one.